Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Eliza Isaurin Hussein and together with Professor Saoudah Wok, we have conducted a research entitled Moral Cognitions and Online Moral Engagement among Students in UITM Shah Alam. So we start doing this research because we have concerns over the negative culture norms in the social media such as trolling, fake news, shaming, derogatory remarks and so many others. We believe that there are more needs for moral and noble values nurturing to be ingrained in the heart of the Malaysians. Because the nation's future depends on strong and cohesive moral foundation of her citizens and that noble values must be continuously preserved and nurtured. So we raise the question that whether the nation should introduce more laws to curb all the mentioned issues from spiraling out of control or more should be done on the nurturing of moral and noble values in the society, especially when exercising their civic engagement. When we did this study, we came across the free speech theory focusing on the John Stuart Mill's harm principle, where he believed that any ideas, stands, and opinions should be allowed in expression, no matter how immoral it may seem to everyone else, to allow an absolute freedom of opinion and sentiment in all subject. So this behavior and absolute freedom should not, at the end of the day, harm people around them. This decision is made based on what an individual thinks is right or not right to do. Thus, we came with the term moral cognition. So, we start out this objective with like to determine the level of respondents moral traits, moral identity, moral belief and online moral engagement and we'd like to see the relationship between all these variables and finally we'd like to investigate the mediating effect of moral belief between the relationship of all the other variables. So, what are the significance of the study? Theoretically, we hope to fill in the gaps of past researches by providing the understanding on the mediating effect of moral belief between the relationship of the other variables. Practically, understanding the importance of moral belief and noble values will point out the need for the social media users to be always reminded of good practicing when communicating online. This is also in line with our Rukun Negara, the national principles, the first one belief to God and the second one courtesy morality. Specifically, the study hoped to suggest the need and focus for moral nurturing in Malaysians rather than introducing more laws to curb the Malaysians' freedom of expressions. Let's start with moral traits for the literature review. So moral traits here are part of connected components that helps define moral identity of a person. It is a trait in an individual that must be identified as it works as salient induction stimuli to moral identity. So moral identity here is the a kind of self-regulatory mechanism that motivates moral action. So that's why we uh, hope to see that there is a positive relationship between moral traits, moral identity and the online moral engagement behavior. Moral belief here, we refer to the nine moral value inventory from Muslim adolescents developed by Abdullah et al. 2010. So here, moral beliefs, moral values are beliefs held by individuals concerning what is right and wrong in human conduct. We also refer to several other researchers, more current research, but we only quote Stephen Young and Calabrese 2007 research on undergraduates' beliefs and behavior related to conventional and digital cheating. Lastly, online moral engagement, according to Kohlberg 1969, Rest 1979, and more others, uh, engaging in moral behavior depends to some degree on both cognitive and perspective-taking abilities, a presumption that has been supported by studies showing positive relationships between IQ and perspective taking skill and moral maturity. So from all this literature review and many other we have on our actual paper, we conducted, we constructed this conceptual framework. We can see that the dependent variable here is online moral engagement, the independent variable here is moral trade, moral identity, and the mediating variable here is moral belief. 
we'd like to see we have we already hypothesized that there are positive relationship between all these variables and moral beliefs mediate the relationship between the dependent variables and the independent variable so what you can see in the screenshot um, photo here it's a it's our online form for this study so let's dive into our methodology we use we employ the quantitative online survey technique where the data were collected from 11 to 12 july to 2020 from the students of faculty of communication and media studies uitm Shah alam so i offered my students to give extra credit for their marks if they participate in the study and we managed to collect uh, 153 students 53 are males and 100 of them are females when we ran the reliability test we have found that all the variables have achieved above 0.8 Cronbach alpha values which is very good for this study we conducted one sample t-test to determine the levels of each variables in the students so we see from the result here all results are statistically significant meaning that all students have high moral traits moral identity moral belief and high online moral engagement behavior we also conducted bivariate correlation to see the relationship between all these variables so from the result here all the relationships are seen as statistically significant too lastly we conducted hierarchical regression to see the mediating effects of moral belief from the beta value under the standardized coefficient we see a small reduction pattern so we can say that uh, our hypothesis on the mediating effects uh, are uh, partially accepted here comes the discussions we see that the respondents reported to have high level of moral traits, identity, belief, and on and moral engagement, that the overall percentages on each item are 80% and above. The respondents, uh, all the, the respondents' moral traits, identity, and belief are positively uh, correlated to their online moral engagement behavior, and meaning that it has influence on their behavior. Although the correlation values reported are mostly moderate, the result is still statistically significant. And we also see that moral belief doesn't have salient influence on the relationship between all the other variables. This must probably be because all moral traits, identity and moral beliefs have the same statistically significant and direct relationship values with their own and moral engagement. However, we do believe that there might be a sudden influence on the respondents' background on their online moral engagement. Since the, the respondents are students of communication major, they have learned and taught to media law and ethics subjects to guide them on how to use the social media personally or professionally. So the conclusion here, the, we believe that these findings support the Mill's principle of harms that any kind of expression should be allowed but guided by self-restriction and not to harm others. So we inferred that the online engagement culture could also be affected by the respondents' moral traits, identity, and belief. We do have some limitations and recommendations as well. Since the sample selections of this study is a university student, they do not uh, represent the whole Malaysian context to be conclusive and push the idea of focusing more on nurture, uh, nurturing uh, moral values. So uh, to add in values for future research, we, uh, we, re we recommend a wider and cohesive sample procedure should be executed and more moral cognition items should be tested. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.